Hi Pisces. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Pisces Sun, Mar uh, Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Pisces. The message could be for you. Feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind, these are general and timeless readings. Everything that you need to access is down below in the description box. My website link, Instagram handle, all that good stuff is located down below. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Ooh. Thank you for all the ways you've been here and supported the channel. Let's dive in. Okay. You have got the dead end. But it looks like you're being... Like, you have a way out of this. Like, you're, you found a way out of something that almost seemed completely blocked in. Not what you may be finding you may be finding that there's ways out it's almost like a maze and you you were coming to all these dead ends and now you've found like a way through your process like you found a way out of like for some of you guys this could have been purposefully done to you someone you could have felt like someone was purposefully trying to block you so that you would be kind of like Put in this insurmountable situation that you wouldn't be able to surpass and it looks like you've you're coming out of it it's like exit strategies and things like that that are coming in <laughs> it's a pretty interesting way that that came out it's like you found a way out or that could be something just that's going on in the energy is maybe people thought that you weren't gonna that you were like completely restricted and they could have even strategically done this like found ways to put limitations on you and you've been getting yourself out of it in a very fascinating interesting way there could be a masculine here in your energy that you're dealing with oh wow we have the mother and the father surrounded by this whoa um i know this is not about all of you but if this is like your parents or it's a prominent masculine feminine energy that you maybe find yourself repeating the patterns of is that you could be dealing with wow and the destroyer is behind this feminine okay there's like this dynamic i think that's going on and you are moving through the energy but surrounding you these could have been people that had tried to restrict or limit you but you always get out of it you could have just like even though your energy became very drained because there's someone i think this feminine looks like they're trying to destroy you and it's weird because they actually could maybe you feel like this person has some kind of dark sense of humor this combination is a little bit of voyeurism i don't like that it's like but this person could every time i see this kind of combination it's a person that you know they want to destroy you they could be jealous or envious of you because that's mother upside down i think it's a feminine that has just like maybe lost touch with themselves or this could be just some kind of shadow situation that you deal with upon occasion. And um, I think that this person would easily like laugh at your misfortunes. And that by, might be a way that you can determine someone that really doesn't have your back. Or they really, um, maybe it's like almost like I'm seeing if they ever feel like things aren't going your way it puts a little smile on their face like they they might even laugh with others or they you could feel like this person has done that with you but it's just because of this like you're starborn you could be expanding maybe pretty soon there's something here about travels or going beyond what you've known I also feel like you're burning, or there has been a bridge burned. 
but Starborn, you could be waking up to some kind of gifts. I wasn't even going to go into that pile, but it feels pretty prominent. So you guys might deal with this combination sometimes. If this is like about people that are in relationships, like even if you're dealing with the masculine or the feminine, I feel like this is the combination that you come to is like feminines that might show more of their shadow attri attributes because they become out of touch with themselves. You know how people can become parents and then they become a little bit resentful about what they take on? I'm kind of getting that about someone's energy because they feel like they they long for another part of themselves that they feel very distant from or they feel very distant from their their like future self. So there's all these emotional reactions that are coming from that that I think are actually on an interesting side of things getting you moving because there's a lot of like you keep passing th your thresholds. You know, you keep this feels almost like an archetypal shift that something about dealing with these energies and I feel like one side is a feminine energy that you feel like acts very negative towards you but the masculine this is so fascinating it's like um a masculine or a father type energy that's like there but they can't be all the way there because they're concerned about this feminine's emotions maybe because it's highly reactive and so this person could be a half safe person because they're like a good person and they soothe you in all these really amazing ways and you feel very connected to this masculine but there's like something about this tie that um i feel like kind of gets in the way wow how fascinating that is super crazy it came out like that okay but I think the benefit of this is, I think this is just like a shadow thing that you go through occasionally, but it looks like you're, this always moves you past, like into your next levels. You know, like it's, it's like an occasional process that you go through and like this is what gets you through what you're supposed to accomplish right now. So the seven of wands is in reverse. That actually looks good because it looks like you well, I want to caution you on one side because this is about your dignity, you know, not lowering yourself to anyone else's energy. But I also feel like there's a combination of learning how to stand up for yourself and assert yourself. But also I feel like you, you don't really have to, it's like you're not acting defensive. I, like there's a combination of things that can come out with the seven of wands in reverse. We have the two of cups. Wow, there's a powerful kind of like soulmate person coming in. We have Queen of Swords. Okay. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Whoa. Kind of pentacles reverse. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> we have the hermit. Um, okay, that is a very side message thing. Cause we have the three of swords over there. Oh, we're not quite. Okay. Ace of Swords, Page of Wands, that's an interesting combo. Oh, oh my gosh, wow. Okay. okay, Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords, Reverse. Okay, those feel very interestingly connected. I don't I need to scooch this because this is a little bit more extensive than I was expecting. Here we go. Wow. Okay. 
Wow, you're doing so good. Okay. And then here's this Emperor Reverse and this Strength card. <laughs> okay, um, this is kind of cracking me up. Um, oh, this plan is an interesting one to put cards up with. Okay, over here. What have we got? All right, you have someone very intense about you. I feel like I feel like they're very intense. Also, I feel like if you can laugh about the situation, like not laugh at someone, or I think that someone like you'll have you'll be feeling more lighthearted about some what seemed like intense energies. Okay, so. I feel fascinating, a fascinating thing that was going on. Like if someone, if you were dealing with someone else, because I can see that there's like a couple of different energies. Okay. Like maybe quite a few different people that you're just aware of. They're all kind of in your environment in some way. And you're like, there's prominent people that just stand out in your life right now, probably because of emotions or whatever it activates within you. I feel like there's something significant about that. Okay, I feel like there's a person that you feel is around you, very high-spirited. They actually might be quite younger than you, or you're aware of them, and they like aren't expressing something, or they're holding back a particular truth that you're aware of. And it's almost like you could be aware of this person. They, they direct a lot of energy toward you. But I feel like you're very aware that they're not expressing something. And it's in regards to you. It's, and so that's something that you're very perceptual about. Because I do feel like when it comes to your energy, you're in this queen of swords. Like highly perceptive. So you're aware of just kind of everything about situations right now. And you're very attuned to everything. You also could be all about boundaries this, when it comes to your connections. And I feel like that's also something that you're navigating with someone else because there's a person. I feel like um, this could be a person that spends time away from you to kind of get in touch with you. But right now... Okay, so I'm picking up on like a connection, someone you've been connecting to, or you have like a lot of emotions toward this person. But almost like in the first interaction, they could have felt like you were a little bit, like I do think you have healthy boundaries, the way that you're coming across, and that could be the way that people are experiencing you, is that you're protecting your energy, you know? You could be just being very intelligent about like, people's situations that you deal with and it, if it's going to end up in something long term because we have the ten of pentacles reverse here which i feel like maybe some of the connections you're dealing with right now you might not think that they're going to end up in this long term successful thing almost like you know ten of pentacles is the whole married couple or like um because I do feel like there's been a recent shift and you could have a strong emotional bond to some of the people that you're dealing with. Just like something significant connects you to people. And those are the people that you could be dealing with. And it feels like to me, um, Queen of Wands over here, that it's like you really don't have to fight so hard now in your situation because things are just aligning for you. You could have done things correctly, but I just feel like your intentions are very well. You're very wise about how you go in and deal with people and about um, Three of Swords, like who it could hurt. And I feel like that's what's going on. There's also a person, Three of Swords, huh? I don't think, I don't think this person is sure. There's like a wounded masculine in here in this environment. I'm trying to pick up more on that, but I think I'll dive more into that later on. 
but there's like some kind of person that feels like very hurt right now about you and what you're doing or who you're connecting with maybe that's what it's about it's who you're connecting with someone could feel like you're connecting with someone and they're like in pain over this anyway okay yes this page of wands won't say something they either won't communicate or they're holding back something specific in regards to you but you're aware of them i feel like internally you're doing very well like wish fulfillments you could be attracting wish fulfillments right now it's super freaking good what's coming together right now because this is just radiating from you so people of course want to come in and connect with you i think it's just more like you're deciphering what's going to end up long term you know and that could be something that you're assessing about who wants to come forward towards you? Is, is it aligned with your values and you know are they the things that fit well with you i think that's something that you could be assessing right now also there's another masculine in your environment that could feel like they're losing control. You might start to see some reactions from them. And the strength in the reverse is saying like, as long as you approach this situation and, you know, with a very balanced body, mind, soul, I think you're going to move through this, but this might trigger you a little bit. Is someone's response to how they feel like they're losing control over you or a situation. <laughs> also, I feel like if you're dealing with someone like that in the environment, um, they might be showing some rigid qualities as you maybe communicate certain things because Queen of Swords is like very communicative. You're also very deliberate about when you speak and what you say so people might have thought misinterpreted you as being whatever um queen of swords can be just like very intentional about words because it's wise you know maybe you weren't saying a whole lot but when you do communicate it's like very poignant and really deliberate and there's a person that I feel like when you communicate or when you assert certain things, there's a person here that's gonna start to maybe show some rigid qualities or things that they're not willing to budge on. And so I think you're gonna be moving through that process as this unfolds. But anyway, let me dive into the extended. I'll see whatever else wants to come out. If you guys wanna join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see it over there. But Pisces, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.